do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, so we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have something sad. Honestly, very, 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 very sad. This husband told his pregnant wife, pregnant with twins, first of all, that he thinks she's booty balls ugly and he's not attracted to her at all anymore. That is like the hardest, <laughs> the harshest thing, the most down bad dirty thing you could ever do your wife is pregnant first of all they're going through so much just being pregnant itself and then to have their own husband their support their partner their rock their foundation their other half just tell them that they're stupidly ugly and disgustingly looking and that they'll never be attracted to them again is just sad but we finna watch this i'm i'm, I'm curious to see how the heck this goes this is extremely sad like that's Personally, like, that's the type of stuff that makes moms just, like, I don't even know. I don't even want to say it, but that's, that's horrible. If you think that's horrible, smash the like button. If I see all these views and I don't see a lot of likes, that means y'all don't think that that's horrible. And that means that you, in turn, are horrible fucking people. But anyway, man, let's hop into this video. My husband, 33M, told me he's no longer attracted to me, 27F. I'm currently pregnant with twins. I don't know what to do or if there's even anything I can do. This is basically my last resort before considering divorce. We have been together for seven years and married for three. This is my first, very planned, and very on purpose, pregnancy. I've never been with anyone besides my husband. He was my first kiss and everything else. Dang. He on the other hand, not so much. I have a pretty high intimacy drive, and so does he, so going two to five times a day if we have time is- Two to five, <laughs> that's good. Congratulations, two to five every single day? That's. That's something serious. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know if I have that much in me. I don't know. Every day? Some days, yeah. But every day? Um, what you be eating? It's pretty normal for us. After I hit around the 12-week mark of my pregnancy, he stopped initiating intercourse or responding to my intimacy advances. Dang. It hurt, but he said he was stressed due to things at work, so I stopped making any plus 18 comments for a few weeks because I didn't want to add any extra pressure to his life. A few weeks passed and I mentioned that this is the longest we'd ever gone without intercourse, just trying to see where his mind was at. He replied, why does it matter? Are Dang. you cheating on me? Which he's clapping somebody. I'm not gonna, he's cheating on you. That's 100% fact right there. If y'all having intercourse multiple freaking times a day, like multiple times a day, and then he just stops suddenly for weeks and y'all ain't done it a single time for weeks, he's clapping somebody else. At work, he's literally busting down Becky. I have to tell you the truth. He's busting down Becky. Took me for a loop. I don't take cheating accusations lightly and feel like if you say that, you should be ready to stand on it. It's insulting to my character, demeaning, and honestly wait, downright wait, wait. disgusting. I told him those and how it made me feel and- Wait, wait, wait. What? What happened? Did I miss something? Gone without intercourse, just trying to see where his mind was at. He replied, why does it matter? Are you cheating on me? Which took me for a loop. Wait, he asked her if she's cheating on him? Wait, confusion, confusion, confusion. Why would he ask that when he's the one that hasn't doesn't want to do it, hasn't wanted to do it with her for the past couple weeks? That doesn't. That sounds like a deflection. He's definitely cheating. That's a deflection. That's a call you out before you call me out on it type of thing. He he cheating. I don't take cheating accusations lightly and feel like if you say that, you should be ready to stand on it. It's insulting to my character, demeaning, and honestly downright disgusting. I told him those and how it made me feel, and he just got quiet. I told him I would never cheat, I'm not pathetic enough to do that. If I wasn't happy with him, I would just leave him. I have every ability to do so. He got emotional and said he was stressed out about money and some petty debts of around $5,000. So after we finished talking, I was thinking of a way to help him be less stressed so I sent him $7,500 from my savings. What the f- <laughs> What the f- What? Wait, wait a minute. I thought you were finna say you gave him a nice little, you know what I'm saying? A late night little tongue time. You know, I thought that's what you were saying. You did that to help him not be stressed. She so just said, I sent him just a couple, just $7,500. I just sent him $7,500 just to help him with his stress. You know what I'm saying? What? Come on, man. What's going on? He, che he cheating on you and he getting the bag from you. This man is never leaving. I've been working full time for over 10 years and started investing a few years ago. So my savings account is comfortable. 
I told him I sent it to him and he asked why, and I said the debts and he asked me what debts, and I just stared at him like, um, the ones you just cried in my lap about. He says something like, oh yeah, sorry, I'm just so off today, and goes to sit on the couch. He ain't got no the debts. whole thing felt so weird so I went out and asked him for details about the debts. After 20 minutes of back and forth, he finally admitted he isn't stressed about debt and isn't having any money problems, he just isn't attracted to me anymore. Dang. I asked him what about me had changed since the last time he was attracted to me because I'm pretty sensitive about my body image my entire life, however, I have never shared those insecurities with anyone, not Dang. even him. It's something I always kept to myself, but even with my current body, I honestly don't think I look that bad. So far, I've literally only gained 25 to 30 pounds and I'm still working out and working full time. Now I'm mad because I didn't get fucking pregnant on my own and last time I checked I wasn't the one begging for a kid for the past two years. Dang. I'm giving him two and now he's saying I'm ugly because of my belly. Dang. I started crying as a result of pregnancy hormones. No, that started anybody would have cried at that I think. I don't even think just because you're pregnant you cried. I think a regular girl would have cried at that. That's, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. He took your money then called your booty balls ugly and fat and stupid. Like that's sad. As fast as I could because I was more mad than sad. He said it's not me, it's the pregnancy, and he's concerned about the long-term effects on my body after seeing videos of postpartum bodies and C-section scars. Then told me it wasn't fair that I was upset because he was having a natural male reaction and I'm manipulating his feelings. He's never said anything like this before either. I asked him to explain what a natural male reaction is and he said what makes a guy hard and what makes a guy not hard. I asked him to go stay with a friend for a night or two so I can have some space and he's staying with his sisters who called me and asked what happened because we never really fight. I don't know what to do, really. I'm exhausted from everything okay, already. Okay, so he said he's calling her out for getting mad at him for a natural male response, right? And he said his male response was that you don't really get hard when you're not attracted to somebody, which I guess is true. You know what I'm saying? But it's also, even if that is the case, right? There's a way you could say it. You can say, you know, ever since you got pregnant, you ain't really been what you used to be, you know what I'm saying? But I still think you're beautiful. It's just been harder for me to get attracted to this new version of you. And I'm trying to get attracted to it. Instead of you just saying, yeah, you're fat, ugly, stupid, and I got your freaking money, ho. <laughs> no, that's not what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a way you do it. Um, yeah, that's all I got. But that's still not a, that's not a good deflection. He shouldn't have said that, especially how he said it. Ready. And this on top of it is just making me feel even worse. I've been crying all day and don't have anyone to really talk to this about, so any advice would be very helpful. Thank you. Edit, he has already sent the money back, as Good. it's showing pending in my account already. I have looked through his laptop, which is synced with his phone, our home office, his cars, and our financial statements. Unless he picked up an additional job to hide an affair, it would be hard for him to hide since his check directly deposits into my bank account and I control the household finances. I'm much better with money than he is since both of my parents were accountants, and I distribute the money. What he gets for fun money is not enough to hide an affair, but in my opinion, I've already gone through everything. I would usually not be willing to do this, but I'm almost in my third trimester and need answers now, not yeah, later. That's true. He has sent flowers and pregnancy craving foods and notes saying that he loves me and he's sorry, but that's all they say. Not I'm sorry. So it's, he don't, he, he still loves her, but he's just not attracted to her how he used to be, which I guess can be a thing. I guess that can happen. When, like, your significant other changes and when that you don't like for them to change, but it's super, super harsh to do that when they're pregnant. Like, they once they're not pregnant no more, they go back to how they used to be. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, maybe a little bit off. They sometimes even look better. You get pregnant, some girls get a bigger baduka You know what I'm saying? So And, and bigger baduka You know what I'm saying? So it, you could some, it could sometimes be better. You just got to, he's just, he, I think he psyched himself off from going on TikTok and watching postpartum stuff and seeing these other girls that don't bounce back. I don't know. I honestly have no freaking idea. I'm trying to freak, I'm trying to see from his point of view, but it's not making sense because he 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 needed at least have a man to man conversation. He shouldn't have lied in the in the beginning talking about oh it's it's I'm stressed out about our money or I'm stressed out about work or something like that. He should have just been up front. Sorry for stressing you out, which inadvertently stresses out our children. Not sorry for lying to you for weeks, if not months. Just I love you always. I'm sorry. Please call me. His sister kept texting me, and then SHE had the nerve to ask if I cheated on him too, so I told her what happened and what he said. She told me she chewed him out and told his parents, too. His mom called this morning and said that no matter what she and her daughter slash my sister-in-law are here for me, so that helps I guess. They know that my parents both have passed away and I'm not very close to the rest of my family. 
I haven't bit the bullet and told any of my friends yet because once I tell them it becomes a little too real. Yeah. And too embarrassing. And they not go forgive you, right? Your friends would never forgive the husband after this. They would always just think about it. They would never forgive him. You might forgive him for saying all this when y'all make up and all that, but your friends would never do that, right? Man, that's the end of the freaking video, bro. That's, I told y'all what he has to do personally, what he should have done. He should have never lied about it, first of all. He should have been upfront. The way he should have said it and broken down would be like, um, yeah, I know your body's going through all these changes, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make you feel ugly about yourself, but it's just, I'm just not attracted to this. I'm I'm struggling to 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 get that attraction back when I see this big old stomach in my face. And and I don't know. I, I don't, honestly, I'm trying to help him. I don't I have no advice for you, sir. I loved my wife the way she looked when she was pregnant. I loved the way she looked when she's not pregnant. I just she's just sexy. Maybe his wife is not sexy. Maybe that's the case. I don't freaking know. <sighs> Should have got a sexy wife. I don't know what to tell you, loser. <laughs> All jokes aside, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. You think he was harsh? I think he was like just being honest and she can't be mad at him for that. Have y'all ever experienced something like that? Um, if you guys are old enough to like have kids and all that and be with your wife during, the, during the, um, that whole stage and all that. Um, Cause I feel like I've heard situations about that too, like similar situations where people had that same type of problem. But um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. But if y'all enjoyed the video, smash the freaking like button. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you will enjoy this video right here. How it's just you watch it. Let's just say, let's just say the boyfriend has been dating his own mother the entire time that him and his girlfriend have been together. You heard me right. Boyfriend and girlfriend together, three years. Boyfriend's been dating mom, three years. Anyways, I'm going to see y'all out.